Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Summer and I'm a waxaholic and today I've got another haul to share with you guys. This haul today is from one of my favorites. This is 30A Cents and she did like a little mini release for Mother's Day and you guys know I love Teresa. I love her shop, love her wax. It performs so well for me and I just love 30A, like the details that she puts into each release. Everything is themed down to the label, down to the packaging. I mean, Teresa just thinks of everything. The way she packages things, she packs it very well and it's themed and it's just adorable. So I think she offered like maybe five or six cents. So of course I had to go in because I love her wax. So if you'd like to see what I picked up from the 30A cents Mother's Day release, then grab a snack, grab a drink, and let's chat wax. Okay, you guys, so I first have to show you this box. Like, look how cute it is. I would show you the other side, but my address is on there, but it's like pink and with flowers on it. Just adorable. I mean, and then there's a sticker on the front that says, thanks for supporting this side hustling mama. And then it says, happy Mother's Day. And then she's got a handle with care fragile sticker on there. Uh, she packages it so beautifully. Even I'm down to the packing, you guys. Like, you know, the packing worms in there. They were pink, white, and gold. Like, they just were on theme, on point. She does a great job. Uh, she also includes an invoice, which I appreciate. There's a sticker on here that says Happy Mother's Day. And it says, Thank you, Summer. Happy Mother's Day. And um, I always love an invoice. Teresa has done her last few pre-orders on Etsy. And this wasn't a pre-order. This was an RTS, just like a mini release. And it was also on Etsy, which fine with me. Um, so I picked up, I think she did like maybe five or six cents and so I had to go in but first she included some candy she included some Twizzlers and I'm so excited for these these are like little Japanese Kit Kats and they're in like the Sakura like cherry blossom flavor every time I go to Korea I always look for Kit Kats because every country has different flavors Korea always has green tea ones and they really have a really beautiful strawberry flavor that I love. I haven't been able to find it the last couple of times I've went. But so excited to try this flavor. So, Teresa, if you're watching, thank you so much. She also included in this little bag, like, look how cute this is, you guys. Again, just themed down to the details. And it came with this card that says, thank you. And on the back, she hand wrote a little note. It says, Summer, a gift for you, a bookmark crocheted by my 12-year-old daughter. I am so touched. I love reading. And look how beautiful this is, you guys. Her 12-year-old daughter crocheted this bookmark. Like, look how stunning it is. It's got the little bottom here. I mean, that is just beautiful and excellent work. So, Teresa, if you're watching, please thank her for me. This is beautiful, and I will treasure this and use it every day when I read. So I'm so excited for that. That was such a sweet thing to do. And then she also included a very generous sample. This is called Aquaholic, which I love the name. That's so cute. Twisted Mermaid and Saltwater Princess. I honestly don't know what either of those scent notes are, but we'll try to just figure it out together. But these shapes are so beautiful aquaholic like that is such a fun name and Teresa's really good if she's like planning another release which i think she said she's doing a pre-order in may or june but she's very good about including as a sample what she's going to feature in her next release and i love that so you can kind of just get a head start and know what to expect but look at these beautiful shapes this one's a shell here's a starfish and then some more shells like how beautiful this reminds me of the beach down on 30a where we like to go and oh stunning okay okay this is like an aquatic perfume it's definitely giving me perfume vibes beachy but not fruity tropical it's like beachy aquatic beachy like fresh ocean air 
maybe a little bit of sandalwood or driftwood, something that's kind of grounding it, giving it that perfume cologne type of vibe. It's fresh aquatic. It's beautiful. Yeah, I would totally get a bigger size of this. Gorgeous. I wish I knew what the notes were. I really like that one. That's going to be beautiful for summer. That is aquaholic. I love the name. Okay. So she did tart bags, bakery bags. I don't know if she did loaves. I can't really remember. But um, she did, I think, five or six blends. I think I only didn't get one of them, and I don't remember why, if it just wasn't at my alley or if it's or, or if it sold out because this was an RTS. But um, I think that I wanted to get the other blend, and instead I got two different... Um, I got two different sizes of the same blend. I looked and I was like, why did I get two of these? I mean, I do like it, but I just was confused. And I think I meant to get the other scent. And I don't know if it sold out, wasn't an option, or if I just, you know, thought I didn't get that one. I was trying to move really fast here and I'm old. So, you know, those two together and it's just never good. So anyway, it's fine. So the first thing here, let's do... The bakery bags are eight ounces, and then I got tart bags that are 5.5 ounces. So we'll start with the bakery bags. So this one, let's see, bakery bags are $11.60 and they're eight ounces. So I will put the price per ounce on the screen here. I always like to include that because sometimes we're just so used to going in and we're like, oh, that's a really good price when we don't really know what size it is or how much it weighs. And so I always like to think about like the price per ounce because, you know, most vendors I feel like are in the like $1.60 is probably like the median, $1.60 an ounce. I will not pay like $2 an ounce or even upwards of that. Just depends, you know, some vendors that have been in business for like 15, 20 years charge more money because they pay employees. You know, there's a lot to think about. But I feel like Teresa's prices, especially for having releases on Etsy where they nickel and dime you to death, her prices are very fair. And her wax is beautiful. It smells so good and it performs so well for me. So, so that's a steal in my opinion. Um, you know, a good deal per ounce, plus it throws well and it's cute. I mean, say less. Okay, so the first bakery bag is called Mama Needs a Margarita. Yes, I feel like all mamas need that daily sometimes <laughs> um but i thought that was a really fun name for mother's day so the notes are strawberry cheesecake seven up pound cake and frozen margarita so i am not the biggest fan of like straight margarita like citrusy effervescent lime like that kind of thing but this just sounded so good i really love cake by the ocean from like rose girls and scoopable and that is strawberry pound cake with key lime which is kind of these same vibes and then we have the seven up pound cake just to give it a little bit of bakery in there and this isn't strawberry pound cake it's strawberry cheesecake but you know it sounded good so here we are let me just dump this out oh my gosh look how cute the shapes are i can already smell this the lips are so cute then there's a rose in here there is a strawberry and look at these little cupcakes. Oh my gosh, these are adorable. So yes, the way Teresa blends her wax too is just really, really good. It's like you smell all of the notes and none of them are competing. They just complement each other really well. They mesh so well. It's almost like you can't tell where one ends and one begins. It's like it's one scent, but you can smell all three, if that makes any sense. So I definitely get the margarita, but I do get the strawberry. I'm weird about cheesecake. If something's milky or creamy, sometimes it can just be a little too much for me, but this is beautiful. I'm getting like a bakery strawberry. The frozen margarita, like it's a true margarita, but it's not super tart or super um, sour. And then the 7-Up Pound Cake, I feel like I'm just getting the pound cake and maybe like a lemon-lime vibe in there, but it's blended with the margarita, so it's kind of like a sweet strawberry margarita. This is so fun, and it's going to be beautiful for spring-summer. I cannot wait to warm it. This is such a fun blend. Fruity, fizzy, fun, and it's not too effervescent either. 
really, really good. I can't wait for that one. That's already like super strong. So I think that's going to do really well. That is Mama Needs a Margarita. Okay, and then the next bakery bag is called Lavender Coconut Oasis. Say less. The notes are creamy coconut milk, French vanilla, and soft lavender. Yes. If it has lavender, y'all know I'm going to get it because I just love lavender. And, oh my goodness, look at these macarons. How cute. Those look so realistic. Beautiful. Then there's a smaller version here and a star and let's see that's all the shapes so there's three of the large macarons a small macaron and the star i can already smell this and i can already tell that i regret only getting one bakery bag oh my gosh this is simply beautiful it's a sweet lavender that i love my favorite lavender sweet creamy lavender and then that French vanilla just gives it more of a creaminess, a little bit of sweetness, smooth. This would be perfect for any time of year, any time of day. I almost want to just pop it in right now. I love to warm lavender. This will be perfect for like a bedroom, a bathroom, even I'll do lavender in my open concept. Like I just love it. Y'all know, but this would be like. One of those scents I would throw in when I'm relaxing, reading in the bathtub, just soaking, just trying to, you know, calm and relax for the night. This is a beautiful scent. Yeah, I definitely should have gotten more. That's okay. We all know that I don't need any more wax, but it's just like, you know, you find a good scent and you just like want it. You want backups. And when I don't have backups, I tend to panic and hoard the wax like a psycho. But... I definitely want to get to warming this one. It is beautiful. Lavender Coconut Oasis. And then the last bakery bag is Go Ask Your Dad, which is so funny. Uh, and it's got an asterisk and it said Coastal Escape. So I don't know if this is a, if Coastal Escape is like the dupe. I don't know what that is. Um, but the notes are clean and airy ocean scent, a captivating blend of marine notes, water mint, and tropical blossoms. That just sounds heavenly go ask your dad love it oh my gosh look at these shapes i'm dying they're little dinosaurs oh look how cute carter is really into dinosaurs and he's gonna love these look how cute oh my goodness oh this is nice so this is a very like aquatic cologne fresh type of a scent it kind of smells like body wash or even like a cologne or like an aftershave that aquatic fresh a little bit of mint tropical blossoms like i don't get floral at all i don't get fruity at all i just get like marine a hint of mint like ocean outdoorsy gorgeous so nice Great for a bedroom bathroom. My husband will really like this one. He loves aquatic, like woodsy type of scents. Really, really pretty. That's actually the one, like I have glitter all over my nose. If I do, I'm so sorry. Um, that's actually the one I got two of. So I got it in a bakery bag and a tart bag. And the tart bags are $7.95 and it's 5.5 ounces. I mean, I feel like that's just a really good deal. So this is the same these shapes let's see if they're the same oh the dinosaurs are a little bit smaller oh my gosh these are adorable eliana sees these she's gonna want to like carry them around everywhere look how cute these are oh my gosh they're like mini little dinosaurs i die these are so cute yeah i gotta hide these from eliana she's gonna she loves to like get in my wax and smell it and she carries it around all day she's adorable i mean a little biased obviously but and then if she sees these like carter loves dinosaurs and he has all kinds of dinosaurs and she likes to play with his stuff which really makes him all kind of mad but she thinks it's the coolest thing so if she sees this she's gonna she's gonna flip out 
But yeah, that's so pretty. It's such a beautiful, if you like cologne, aquatic, outdoorsy, like woodsy types of scents. This is for you. And then I got Mother's Day Berry Pancakes. Rich buttery pancakes and mixed sweet berries. I am all in for berry blends, especially with like bready, buttery pancakes. Like, yes. Oh, so good. Oh my goodness. Sweet berries is right. These are like sweet, like syrupy, sugary berries. Oh my gosh, that is phenomenal. I was a little scared of this one because I don't really care for like maple syrup. And so I thought with the pancakes, they might have a little bit of that, but it doesn't. It's just like a fluffy pancake with like berry compote or like berry syrup. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look at this cute little waffle here with the thing of butter and the drizzle. Just, I mean, so cute. I'm dropping them everywhere and then let's see what the other shape is these little shape bags are like the best thing ever because they're cute and they're already chopped like you could just grab one of these little shapes and throw it straight in your warmer no chopping is required and they are just so cute she puts a little bit of like glitter on them little shapes like I mean just adorable mm, that smells so good and then that's all I got from the Mother's Day release. But from her, I think it was Valentine's. Was it Valentine's or Easter? I think it was her Easter pre-order. She had a scent that I, that just completely wowed me. I thought I would like it, but like I was hardcore obsessed. The first sniff, I was just like, this is so unique and beautiful and I need all of it in my life. So um, I asked Teresa if she had any like overpours from the pre-order and she said she did. She had like a bag of it. So she so kindly added it to my order for me. So I just paid the invoice and then she just included it with this order, which was so kind of her. This is Sakura and this is Japanese Cherry Blossom and Vanilla Ice Cream. So Japanese Cherry Blossom from Bath & Body Works, it's a like, it's not a love, like definitely not a love. And so I was just like, you know, I want to try it. So it was Sakura season here when we got this order in in April. And I'm also kind of leery about ice cream. Sometimes it can be too creamy. It's just, you know, too much for me. So these two notes blended together. I was just like, you know, I will grab one bag of it and see. Because I know Teresa is so good at blending. And I typically like the way she blends things. Even if it's not in my wheelhouse, I always like the way she does it. So I was like, you know, I'll take a chance and just get a bakery bag. I was obsessed. If you haven't seen that video, it's definitely in on my channel the easter pre-order and you could see it on my face i was just like oh my gosh this is everything and it is it's just the most unique blend ever look at that pretty little butterfly this is the hot pink one so fun and here's like a more ombre like pink and white one beautiful this is a creamy sweet cherry it's almost like a maraschino cherry blended with ice cream this doesn't lean super floral to me at all, and it doesn't smell like Japanese cherry blossom from Bath & Body Works at all. It smells a thousand times better. Such a beautiful scent. So it's a sweet, ice creamy scent, but I feel like it's got a slight perfumey vibe. It's just so fun. It's so unique. I've never smelled anything like this. And so I had to get another bag of it. This is Sakura, and I'm so grateful that Teresa had more of it and threw it in for me with my Mother's Day release order. So that's everything I picked up from 30A Scents. Let me know down below if you've ever tried 30A, what some of your favorite scents are, if you're going to be participating in her summer pre-order. Because in that Easter pre-order, I had a sample of like strawberry and boom boom. It was to die for. I was completely obsessed with it. And so I think she's going to do that for her summer release. So I'm dying to get like a loaf of that because that combination is everything. But um, yeah, so let me know if you picked up anything from the Mother's Day release or any of the pre-orders this year or if you're planning to go in for the summer one. Would love to know. 
But thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, week, or weekend. Please don't forget to like and comment. Subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you all on my next video very soon. Bye.